Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. A while ago, I did a tutorial on how to make these retro disco text images, and now I'm going to show you how to make another retro disco image with a cool looking music equalizer. This tutorial is in two parts. In this first part, we'll create the equalizer, and in part two, we'll complete our image with the retro text and glittering stars. We'll start by creating the pattern we'll use for the equalizer. Go to File and New. Type in 51 pixels for the width, 15 for the height, and 150 pixels per inch. Press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac to fill the entire image on our screen. Make sure the foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they are not, press D on your keyboard. Press Alt-Delete on a PC or Option-Delete on a Mac to fill it with black. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We're going to make guidelines that intersect the center. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. Go to the left ruler and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. If you don't see it, press Ctrl or Command H to make it visible. Go to the top ruler and drag its guideline down to the center. Then press Enter or Return. Go to the Shape tool and choose Rounded Rectangle. Choose Shape. The fill will be white with no stroke. Click on the gear icon and type in 47 pixels for the width and 11 for the height. Choose Fixed Size and check From Center. Click on the crosshairs and the rounded rectangle window will open. Type in 47 for the width and 11 for the height. The radius is 100 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the guidelines. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. Let's name it Equalizer. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Go to File and New. We'll name it Disco. Type in 1280 pixels for the width and 720 for the height. The resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Fit the entire image on your screen. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Pattern. The last pattern you save is the Pattern Fill that will appear in the window. We'll keep the scale at 100%. Open the Channels panel and click on the circular icon on the lower left. It creates a selection of all the tonal values of our image. Go to Select and Save Selection. We'll name it Equalizer. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Open back up the Layers panel. We can trash the pattern now since we have its selection. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. Click on the background to make it active and fill it with the foreground color which is black. Click on the empty layer to make it active. Open your Gradient tool. Choose a gradient. I'm using Spectrum. Make sure your linear gradient is highlighted. Press and hold Shift as you drag a line all the way to the right of your document. The reason we see the pattern is because the layer mask that's next to the gradient is revealing the colors within the white portions of the layer mask. Next, we're going to randomly hide columns of the pattern. Open your rectangular marquee tool and click on the Add to Selection icon. Drag a rectangular selection over the left column approximately three-quarters of the way down. Continue to add very lengths over each column. Make the layer mask active and fill the selection with black. Make a copy of the layer and make the original layer active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Make the angle 90 degrees and the distance 425 pixels. Next, we'll make the blurred areas confined to the shape of the pattern. First, we need to make a composite snapshot of this image. 
Make the top layer active and press Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Open your channels panel and Control Click or Command Click on the Equalizer channel to make a selection of it. Open back up your layers panel and press Control or Command J to cut and copy the colors from the image using the selection. Since we now have the equalizer color pattern, we can trash all of its source layers. Now we have a great looking retro graphic equalizer. In part two, we'll add some retro text and star glints to create a vintage 1970s disco inferno. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.